Hey guys, Chris here, and welcome to the 1,000 subscriber Q&A video. Um, on Twitter, I asked, you know, you can send me questions, whether they're sports-related, gaming-related, or just random. I have a bunch of here on Twitter, and I actually have one on YouTube, so without further ado, let's get into these questions. Alright, so the first question comes from my friend Diego. Um, he says, could Oliver ask you have a successful career in IndyCar, and to what made you start making videos? So obviously, I don't think you guys know, um, Oliver Askew is a American driver for the Aero McLaren team in IndyCar. I think he could have a, su a successful career, he definitely showed some pace in the last race, I forget what it was, Iowa I think. But um, I think he could have a successful career if he keeps up that pace because certainly he could win races and score more podiums that way. And the second question, what made me start making videos? Um, I watched a lot of gaming videos when I was like 9, 10, and 11 years old. And I was thinking like, hey, I want to make these type of videos. And I started with Battlefield Hardline because I really loved that game. And uh, well, I continued to upload it alongside other games. And now here we are, um, you know, uploading a lot of Battlefield and other games too. It's crazy. Alright, so the next two questions are from my friend Morgan, he's a very good guy, so Morgan, if you're watching this, thank you for the questions, you're a good friend. Uh, he said, if you were mo to move to any country in the world, where would you go? Um, I'm not really sure, I would say like Canada, because, I mean, it looks like a nice place to live, but maybe also like Germany or the Netherlands, I'm, I'm not even sure. But they, like those three, honestly, they're my top three locations that I would love to go to sometime and maybe live there, so, yeah. <laughs> and the other question, if Rainbow Six Siege ever reverted their game back to one season and kept it there forever, which one would you choose? Alright, so that's a good question. I've been thinking about this, but really, I can't I can't really find a season to revert back to. Um, probably, I'd probably have to say Blood Orchid. Now, I know Blood Orchid was probably, you know, the start of the most broken stuff in Siege, but really... I don't know, I really enjoyed that season, obviously I was still kind of new to the game after being in since Velvet Shell, but I just really enjoyed that season and, you know, even though the operators were broken, I, I mean, you still got the old recoil, you got, you know, dark maps, um, pi old pistol recoil, pretty much, pretty much old stuff, you know, 2017 Siege was great, so I think I'd say Blood Orchid. Alright, so next question is from my friend Victor. Uh, he said, who do you think is better, Carlos Sainz or Lando Norris? And he says uh, he prefers Lando. Um, they're both McLaren drivers for the F1 team, and I really enjoy both of them, but I'd probably have to say Lando as well. Carlos is a good driver, but Lando, he's more funnier, and plus he's been pretty consistent these past few weeks. He's even scored a podium in the first race in Austria. And really, um, he'll be the one that I'll be cheering next year since Sebastian Vettel is leaving Ferrari. So, there you go. My next question is from my friend Yov. I, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. But he said, if you could go to any race, what race would it be? I have been to NASCAR and IndyCar races in the past, but I would like to go to a Formula 1 race because really the atmosphere that is there seems pretty cool, especially with like the cars and the drivers and stuff, and really, I mean, there's no close race to me. Um, I think the closest F1 race would be uh, Miami if they have that track added to next year's schedule, but I'd like to go to the US Grand Prix in Texas because really it looks like a nice track to watch some racing on, you know, it's twisty and tight. So I think it'd be a good good racetrack to go and watch an F1 race in the States. All right, so next question comes from my friend Fady. He asks, what is your team in F1 and what is my phone? My team in F1 currently is um, Scuderia Ferrari, obviously, because, you know, they're big and stuff. But really, when I first started watching F1 last year, they were really the only team that I knew, so I just decided to go with them. But next year, it will be McLaren because Sebastian Vettel is leaving Ferrari, and really, he does not look good in that Ferrari currently, so... Might as well switch teams for next year. And my phone uh, is the Galaxy S9. I had this thing since 2018. Um, I'm going to be getting it, uh, or I'm going to be getting a new one in December, I believe, of this year. But I'm not sure because with all this COVID stuff going on. But yeah, but currently now it's the Galaxy S9. All right, so the next question comes from my friend Jaws. Um, he is also a YouTuber as well. I'll leave his link down in the description below. But his question is, what's your favorite part of doing YouTube? I guess my favorite part about doing YouTube would have to be really recording the the footage because, you know, I plan it and then, you know, I do it and then you really don't know how it's going to turn out. It could either turn out good or bad. And really, that's why I continue to do YouTube because really, it's fun. You never know what could happen. You know, you could 
hit something crazy while you're recording or you could find some funny moment or anything it's just it's just crazy all together all right so next question comes from my friend rogue he asked what is the best gun in battlefield 4 i'm not really sure to be honest i mean i guess if you want to you know go aggressive or you just want like a good gun with fast firing rate um probably the aek because it's really good it's fast firing and that's what most competitive players use on the battlefield but then again it is your opinion so like mine i think the mtar is one of the best in battlefield 4 because of its fast fire rate and really it's low recoil so but whatever works for you all right so next question comes from alex he asks if you could create a siege season what would you name it and what would the ops be like this is kind of a hard one because really i didn't think this through i should think about it before i even recorded this thing but um, I'd probably do a Operation Health 2, just because I want to you know, fix the game and make sure that this game stays alive as long as it can. But if I had to make ops, I'm not even sure what I would make them do, because I don't know. Because like most of the abilities that the op these operators have currently, like really, it's kind of hard to make some up. So yeah, sorry that I couldn't answer the, like, you know, what ops I would have. But I'd probably have an Operation Health 2, just so that... You know, they could take some time fixing the game, actually, unlike the first Operation Health. <laughs> and, um, you know, actually fix the game and make sure that it's in a healthy state. And hopefully you can survive for years and years beyond. Because really, I love Siege. It's a great game. It's a great tactical shooter. But I feel like they're, they're, uh, it's just like they're getting so weird with this game now. Like, you have weird cosmetics and events and stuff, like... Oh my goodness, man. Oh, and don't forget about the bugs, too. They gotta fix the, many of those bugs, like the sound issues and vaulting problems and, like, um, you know, barricade stuff. You know, I, I, you know, all of those. All right, and the last question comes from the big Kyle Larson fan. He said, will Kyle Larson be at Stuart Haas and the best F1 game? Now, if you guys don't know, Kyle Larson, he used to be a driver for Chip Ganassi in the NASCAR Cup Series, but... Uh, earlier this year in, uh, in April, he accidentally used a racial slur on stream when he thought he was muted. And uh, that pretty much destroyed his Chip Ganassi career. Even though Chip Ganassi still likes him and stuff, but sponsors, they don't want to be associated with him. I mean, really, he's been kicking ass on dirt since like May, I believe, because he's a really good dirt racer. But to answer that question, I think he could be at Stuart Haas because Tony Stewart has been in kind of the same situation. Um, a few years prior not by saying racial slur but he's been he was involved with like an incident years prior in 2014 but uh, i think he could go there you know chevy terminated their sponsorship with kyle larson and i think you know obviously stewart has his ford so maybe he could go to it um kyle larson has expressed that he does want to come back to nascar but i don't think it's going to be easy for him so maybe stewart has he can go to and the final question he was asking is the best f1 game I'm not sure because I haven't played all the F1 games. I only played like from 2015 and beyond. So I'm going to have to say probably F1 2019 because the the way they stepped that game up from 2018 is just is just awesome. Like they have driver swaps, they have F2 mode, um, they have a theater mode, uh, customization for your character and your cars and all around it's just it's just an amazing game just like 2020 is. But yeah, probably F1 2019 is one of the best F1 games that has existed because really I grinded out that game like 100 hours driven and I I loved every single moment about it. Oh, okay, never mind. I, uh, that wasn't the last question. I forgot one from YouTube. It comes from Natsuki and he asks, what slash who encouraged you to make this channel and what are some of the most toughest videos you have made? All right, so that's a very, very good question. Uh, I'd say, I guess, watching gaming videos, like I said in the other question, made me uh, make this channel because I really wanted to get involved with Battlefield and stuff and really just upload uh, tons and tons of Battlefield videos. So, yeah. And the toughest video I've ever made, I'd probably have to say it was this, like, it was this shitty Minecraft trolling slash griefing video I made back in, like, 2017. It wasn't even like trolling or griefing, I, I failed to even do two of those, like really. I remember, I didn't have an Elgato back then, I had to use Mixer, and I tricked these kids into thinking like I was going to tour their Minecraft world and stuff, and really, at the end it came up to like 56 minutes of recording, and it, it was all shitty, like I'm just going to say that now, it was all shitty. <laughs> And it, it took me like days, like I remember I'd stay up through the night editing that video 
on Windows Movie Maker, and it was, and even though it was crap, I was still happy to get it done, but oh my god, dude, I th I'm pretty sure you can still find it, it's up there now, but oh my god, it was so horrible, but it was so tough as well, but it felt good to finish it in the end. So to everyone who submitted those questions, thank you. I'm really sorry if I answered them in a shitty way, but really I needed to get this video done. So hopefully y'all understand. And uh, yeah, so anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like and subscribe as well. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.